Today just got a little better. I just got the notification for the 2019.36.2.1 software update, which adds one of my favorite features, one pedal driving. It's one of the things that I like a lot about the Bolt and the i3, and I'm pretty excited to get it in the Model 3. So I have it updating currently, and I just did a zero to 60 to zero run in my 2018 long range rear wheel drive. So once this finishes, I'll go back and do it again, and we'll play them back next to each other and see how things changed. I'm currently at about 70% battery, so it's not going to be the absolute max acceleration, but that should give it plenty of headroom for max deceleration. So we'll just see where we start in the same place and if we stop in about the same place. So checking it out. Alright, so we have the update now. We have stopping mode. It says along with the previously available creep and roll, which roll was if creep was turned off, we now have hold, which brings you to a stop when you let go of the pedal. Also get scheduled departure, which I'm pretty excited about too, and a power increase by about 5%. And this automatic navigation sounds pretty cool too. I'll be curious to see if it starts navigating me home whenever I leave work tomorrow. So let's go test it out. So I'm going to stop at these lines, speed up to 60, and then just let off and see how fast it slows down. After reviewing the footage, it actually made a bigger difference than I expected. So my 0 to 60 went from 5.2 to 5, and my 60 to 5 went from 13.8 to 13. And I was hoping to show it a little bit better in the video, but I actually, on the second run, didn't let off until 61. So I end up coasting just as far, but had I not done that, it would have probably stopped significantly shorter. So it's pretty cool to see actual results from both the deceleration and the acceleration. And that five second zero to 60 is actually probably a little bit slow for the car since I was only at 70% charge. And when you get up in that 90 to 100% charge, you actually accelerate a little bit quicker. So cool to see results and especially from a software update that I didn't have to pay anything extra for that just increased the performance of my car and added new features. So pretty awesome. Thanks as always, Tesla, and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.